When RNA virus enters the cell, it releases its RNA genome into the cytoplasm and those RNA genomes are really multitasking. They know how to replicate, how to produce proteins, how to interact with the host machineries and manipulate them. And they do much of that by adopting certain structures. So the big challenge is that these structures might not be very stable. Once you extract the RNA from the cell in order to study that, you already disrupt most of the structure. So what we have been doing is finding ways to fix the structure of the virus genome, to take a screenshot in a way that when we extract and study that, we uh, still can preserve and identify those important structures. The new technology can be applied for any virus in any host cell. We've started by looking at Zika virus and we're very excited to reveal first how dynamic the structure of the virus is, but also multiple interactions with the host own RNA. And this is something very new and very exciting. Our next step will be to test whether those RNA structures and interactions that we have revealed are indeed essential for the virus infectious cycle, then to study the biology behind in order to better understand how those viruses function inside the cells. This are still early days, but I'm hoping that in the future uh, we might be able to think of ways to use this information to try to come up with better medications against those viruses, as every such interaction can in theory be targetable.